Hi, I'm David. I'm the Creative Director at Scalar, and we're really excited to introduce um, Scalar EQ iOS. Works on iPad, works on iPhone. Um, lovely, full featured, fully featured port with some really cool optimization to make sure it works well on both devices. Um, let's give you a quick run through. If you're looking at Scalar EQ on the iPad here, for example, it all just looks exactly like Scalar EQ. Some things are bigger. Obviously, the nodes are a little bit bigger. Uh, it's really smooth and just works absolutely beautiful. There's plenty of room to get your fingers in and kind of change everything up and down. Um, you've got all your presets. Um, as I said, everything's just really nice and accessible. You can reset things. Um, when things start to do get a little bit fiddly, um, let's say, for example, I want to get in and use the scale switch or I want to be specific on the stereo width and mono frequency, obviously I can just grab and move up, but you can double tap. You can double tap anywhere, and once you're in double tap mode, you can easily move around which makes it really cool for things like, let's say I want to make this, um, turn the dynamic compressor on, on number four, then I can just really come in and look at the, um, the functions here and kind of move them around in zoom mode, double tap back out. Uh, everything works as you'd expect, you double tap and it resets. You can click and hold, long hold, um, and click and hold gives us the kind of mute copy. Um, that's really all there is to it. There's nothing much more in terms of the functionality. Uh, it is the 1.1 version, so we've got the great mastering grade limiters um, on the way in, on the way out. We've got scale switching. You can collapse and hide the whole background, bring it back easily enough. And so, yeah, you don't really even need the, the double tap functionality, but it's there. Uh, it's particularly good for the iPhone, obviously, because the iPhone is small and, you know, it can be a little bit hard to grab those nodes, but it does work lovely too. And it does have that similar kind of functionality and that you can just double tap around, move, um, you know, it's in scale. You want to choose the scale, you can come in and double tap and choose your scale, and come back out and yeah, it just works and sounds as you would expect it to. Absolutely lovely. Really excited about the ports. They run beautifully and smoothly. Let's have a look at the operation um, of Scalar EQ within the iPad. So obviously we've got it within Logic uh, and in Logic, Scalar there, uh, it zooms up nice and easy, zooms back out. It's really cool, works so nicely. Uh, let's uh, hit play on our drums and kind of you know, bring our shelves and so forth up and down. Works really nice and you still got that double tap functionality within uh, Logic. And you can just run it as an AUV3 within Logic, Cubasis or even here AUM. Here I've got three scalers running and I've got scalar EQs everywhere. And uh, yeah, you can, you know, quickly mute to hear the differences it's making on each channel. So here on the pads, has that lovely scalar EQ sound as well. Um, you can even hear on the drums here. We've got our live drum kit, Heavy Sweeten. It's really just so quick to use. Um, here I've got everything coming through a, a master channel so I can just you know quickly pull up a scalar EQ. I'm a master, there you go. Um, just you know, stretch it out, it responds just nicely. Add some of our lovely shelves. You know, add some stereo width, make everything under 100 hertz. Mono, can detect the key if I want to really get in and get rid of some of those inharmonic frequencies. Click to stop. You can just see I'm just using it really fluently and easily. There it is. Scalar EQ, it's pretty straightforward. iOS, iPad, um, works lovely. As expected, really looking to forward to everybody's feedback. And of course, we're always looking to improve wherever we can. But I think we've um, made a really nice start. Scalar EQ uh, it now sits alongside Scalar 2 on the iOS store. And the difference is Scalar EQ is available on the iPad and the iPhone. Lots more to come. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for checking out Scalar EQ iOS.